gonna play we're gonna we're gonna do the messenger again i haven't i think this is one of like the first games that i streamed in the morning if i remember right at the western edge of a fallen world lies a cliffside village we can go through the story here quick harboring the last survivors of the human race those who chose exile over death they train day and night confined to their hideout their legacy cursed survival their sole purpose legend warns of the demon army bound to strike again eager to completely eradicate humans Fortunately, legend also tells of a hero flying in from the Western Ocean to bring protection and knowledge. On a day that begins like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the Western hero. And sent on a perilous journey into this merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan's survival. All right. Yeah, so I last played this on in in March of 2020. It looks like that was when I first played this. Um, it's by the studio that is making Sea of Stars, which is coming out on Monday. And apparently, Sea of Stars is like related. It's in the same world or something. It's, um, I think it's a prequel to The Messenger. I should Google that. But, um, Sea of Stars: The Messenger. Um, it's set in the Messenger's universe. Okay, so maybe it's not, um... Okay, Sea of Stars is a prequel to the Messenger, according to Destructoid. Let's jump in. It's been a while since I've played this, but I remember I really enjoyed this game. I want to check it out. Maybe there'll be, uh, get a little refresher before Sea of Stars comes out. Alright, here we go. Werewolf, how you doing? New game. Ah, uh, what is our name? Is Miso alive? Oh yeah, Miso's alive. Right, Miso? <laughs> he just spent <laughs> Messenger. There you go. I don't feel like being coming up with a name today. Of course the only survivors of humanity are ninjas, seems legit. You know, I think it they would be. Another day and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. So I guess we're going to find out why uh, humanity is being wiped out. You can't go into doors, right? I don't think you can. Right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Oh, that is me. Here we go. Well, look, we decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. Hey, Swift. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you, but let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real, and should they... Oh, how timely. They have returned! Who could have seen that coming? This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out. All right. Don't go. You are not ready. Watch me. I'm going. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That sound. Impossible. It seems luck is with you this day. Mamatha zeal. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. 
Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Are you the Western hero? Something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take the scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak's summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. Who are you? Why is the scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it through the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. Chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. How you doing, Cass? Now it's gonna sound like I'm getting gift subs all morning because that's my gift sub alert. <laughs> you can hit projectiles oh I think that's an upgrade that you have to get so you can but you have to like buy it first I remember there's a uh... oh and then I need to get ball jump okay I think this is where you get it. Hey, Joshy. Hi there. The messenger, I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? So I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialog box. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards that you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one's on the house. Enjoy. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Okay. Um... Oh, I can get something. Attack enemy projectiles. There you go. Um, that seems like an obvious choice. And then he's like, don't go in the... I already told you, the cabinet's off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. And then there's like a really long text box or something, I remember, if you if you keep going. I've played this uh, this intro several times because there was a trophy slash achievement for um, getting to a certain point in the game without taking damage. And so it was just a lot of like going through the first 10 minutes of the game over and over and over again. That was a tough one. Also, there's a bunch of lore. Yeah, he's got a bunch of lore too. Dead tired, but this game is amazing and helping. This game is amazing. Go back to sleep. Go home. Alright, I think I can get another upgrade. Oh, that's not a door, though. Yo, Captain Keiko. Thank you very much for the raid. I don't know why there's no audio for that. Really weird. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, what were you up to this morning? Slash afternoon, slash whatever time it is. All right, we can swim. You're just replaying the messenger. I played this once about three years ago, I think. Okay, so jump, swims up.
morning, Groovedex. Play tested a new hack. Sweet. All in Baron of Shell. I need to play that one still. I love how the music sounds underwater. Dad really wants a hug. a little rough on the fingers yeah I've every hack has been rough on my fingers because since I was playing Tears of the Kingdom I forgot how to uh I apparently forgot how to hold a, con a Super Nintendo controller all right energy shuriken okay yeah we should probably get that right um and HP plus one yeah so we can throw a shuriken with triangle Game's audio design is top notch. I didn't do anything with these. No. There goes the cat. It's okay. We get more screen real estate on the stream now. I didn't need that health, but whatever. Dragon Quest is a blast. Oh, wait, there's something up here, I think. I don't know if I can get it yet, though. Wait, wait, wait. If I go out and then back in, I need to be able to do a double jump to get up there. There's definitely a secret up there. Oh, Kappa, I saw that you mentioned uh, My Friendly Neighborhood during the Starting Soon screen. I have heard of that one. Um, I saw the zero punctuation review of it. It looks interesting. Might be, uh, might be an October game. <sighs> Trying to get something in my pocket that was bugging me. How am I? Okay, so I have to go... There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. There must be a scripted death in here, right? Like, there, there must be. Because I'm just thinking about the, um, like, there's that character that revives you when you die. But what would happen if he went through the whole game without ever dying? Because I think he gets intro he's introduced, like, when you die for the first time, if I remember right. Okay, here's another secret, maybe. Maybe we can get to this one. Looks like it. There he is. Speak of the devil. Oh, a new customer. Hi there. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble, at your service. I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. <laughs> the gist of it is I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time, so whenever you're about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad, so I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I am bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal. Why do we see eye to eyes? Carry on, then. It's the child of Sesame Street and Resident Evil 4. 
Yeah, I heard it kind of subverts expectations a little bit. All right, we got a we got a Chuck E. Cheese token. So it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? That thing you just smashed instead of collecting? It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. I think it was just like double damage or something. I don't remember. I remember there's also an upgrade to uh, slash downward that I would like to get. Last time? No? Um, I don't think I can afford anything. What is this? It appears when you smash your first, first power seal. What does it do? 44. Okay. Okay, second win? Sure. I don't think I can jump up there because the walls are blocked. All right, he's dead. Isn't every is this one of the like every boss is just uh like there's a it's just a misunderstanding. They're actually good guys. Maybe not that one. Maybe it wasn't even this game. I don't remember. I might be thinking of something else. Ding, 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 ding. Forlorn Temple. God, every song is such a bop. Well, maybe now I can afford something? I don't think I can. I think we got a little ways to go. Yeah, I mean, 200, 200, 125, 400. What is that one? Oh, the Corbel's fine. No, who cares about that? We're not gonna, we're not gonna see him. I played this game before. Best soundtrack of the last five years. It's definitely up there. Ah. All right, I guess we're going to the catacombs. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a Fibikin? Phobikin? We are a tribe of builders. Technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear which we are named after. What's your name? Necro. So you feared the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs. Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. How dare? Oh, a Val, are you thinking about, uh, like a dragon?
This and Celeste. to that at work daily did i beat zelda um tears of the kingdom yeah i beat tears of the kingdom like three weeks ago without ever finding or figuring out who the fifth sage was oh, okay really yeah they announced that and uh th that twist and i was like nah i'm ready to be done <laughs> I'm going back to it off stream eventually. I just have to wait until I'm in the mood. Oh, this guy. jump yeah cheated uh if anything people who found the fifth stage cheated i made it harder on myself i imagine okay you can afford something upgrade enemies that sometimes drop a globe enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores one key Sometimes drop a glove that restores one hit point. Underwater dash. Let's get the dash. Hey, Archie. I am the messenger. Ah, get back here. The Susie and the Banshees cover is superior to the original. I will uh, look into that. Wait. Wait. Let me in there. There we go. through here and don't die and then break that oh come on that was cheap it was my fault though sorry about the pain but I can't pay myself back if death isn't confirmed <laughs> Well, wait, did I get it, though? Did I get that? Yeah, okay, that counted. One pixel off, get crushed, Sonic rules. Okay, we went in there. Alright, there he goes. Got some health. There's- I remember there's some, like, really well-hidden secrets in this game, too. There were some that were really hard to find.
I don't think there's like breakable walls or anything. You remember checking all of these broken, no climby walls for secrets like a big dork? I remember I did 100% this last time. I'm, I'm probably not going to this time. the time hop? Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Go this way? Oh, wait. I want to get those things in the middle. I think, doesn't the upgrade tree, like, s expand a bunch when, uh, when you change times as well? I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure there's more upgrades than I saw. There is a lot of backtracking in this game, I remember that. Wow. You guys can teleport anywhere, you decided to go right next to each other. sword went right through him. Okay. I get some health. I guess that's a no. That would be a no on that. How you manage your budget is up to you, but I'd recommend dodging these in the future. Up here is Quarble. Did I miss anything in here? Okay. I was worried that I missed something in that room. In a way, I got a full refill. Yeah, in a way. That guy... That one enemy is a little, uh... Weird for some reason. Oh, there was health in there that time? It wasn't there last time. I also don't know what hit me in this room. Alright, surely we gotta be at the end here of the... Okay, I think I paid my debt now. might also be something with, um, hits. Hold on. 
There was a checkpoint right here, right? No, maybe not. Okay, let's not let's not tempt fate. Well, we went in there anyway. Are we, am I all the way back at that checkpoint that I just re- Yep, I am. Okay. That was me being a big, dumb idiot. But you're not even giving me a full refill? Oh, you know what I can do? I can afford an upgrade. But I can't go in. There's not a door there. Okay. Just wasting all of the time this morning. Are you serious? Okay. Let's actually get out of here. Skeleton. Those little skeletons are so hard to hit for some reason. This is the hardest section in the game. and down. Oh, that was key. I, I gotta remember that I have that. Alright, since apparently I'm dying. Get that upgrade. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. I just remembered this guy. Ahem. What now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. <laughs> Who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh, is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. Um. Oh, right, go under here. Okay. Good deal. Yo, oh, Jesus Juice. Thank you very much for the raid. How you doing? Greetings, everyone. I'm Hank. This is the messenger. I've played it before. A few years ago. Uh, oh, nah, well. How are the runs going? Oh, I'm, I'm just playing it casually. I thought about 
uh, learning the speedrun for this game, but I think it's pretty long. Damn. Or maybe it's isn't isn't the run for this pretty glitchy? Where are you gonna go? Okay. Oh, you... Where are we up to this morning, Jesus Juice? Clearly they have never heard of Don't Shoot the Messenger. <laughs> Comedy. I'm the reason when someone told you that Steve Stars was made by the Messenger, folks, you thought of me immediately. <laughs> They just, oh, that's right. That's right. There's the categories. You can do like the just the 8-bit section or whatever. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm really excited for Sea of Stars. Um, so I wanted to replay this. Get, it, get all that hot lore. Sea of Stars is the new game from the same devs that's very, uh, uh, it's an RPG that's heavily inspired by Chrono Trigger. It's coming out next Tuesday. Yield. Wait, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah, and how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could... That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Spank, spank, spank. Oh, it's Bamboo Boogaloo time. few instances where um, the 8-bit version, I actually prefer the 8-bit version of the song to the 16-bit version. We can turn it up a little more than that. Can't afford anything. Yeah, Sea of Stars was made by, by these guys. And it is a prequel. Or will be when it comes out.
Oh, I forgot about these things. That's cool. Um, can I? Yeah, I can go in there. Okay. What the hell? Jeez. That was terrifying. Oh, this is... Okay. I know what this is, I think. Maybe not. So I have to come back here later, I think. Now I can afford something. Wait, I didn't even see what that did. Oh, that's the... Okay, I thought that was the drop the key charge. You took your jacket off for afternoon break walk? You hit 98 with 50% humidity yesterday? Jesus. And you were wearing a jacket? I'm kind of worried about you. There's something over there that I need. That's, you can't go through that? No, that's bullshit. I didn't realize that was solid. Okay, drop. There we go. Well, I almost just went right into the spikes. Yeah, we're supposed to break 100 this week. I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I ran, I went to get coffee the other day. And just going, like, walking to my car was a chore. You took my ride! Yeah, it's pretty bad. Checkpoint. <sighs> All right, have a good one, cup of nudes. 
see you later. Mm, was not trying to hit that. That the little uh, recovery jump is is so important. Come on, I had it. There we go. Um, I mean, 250, 320, 1,000. What is this one? Defense up. Okay, that's huge. That's pretty huge. It's pretty expensive, though. Am I supposed to be going this way, or was I supposed to go down? <laughs> oh, you know what it is? You go all the way down, and then you ride this up. <laughs> I was just skipping that. <laughs> like, I'm definitely skipping something if I do this, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Now I understand. There we go. I've been skipping secrets all morning. I believe the trophy, Alan Grotto. I think the trophy that I was talking about earlier that was like you have to get a certain, get to a certain point without taking damage. I think it's you have to beat Ruxton. You have to get all the way through beating Ruxton without taking damage from the beginning of the game. Ah, are you gonna give me the uh, like glide ability now? I fell in a pit, that you did. That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching out a freedom humans could seldom dream of, some would mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. <laughs> All right. Uh, we don't need anything.
Okay, I didn't miss anything up there. Okay, I can't get through there yet. I can't get with those uh, walls there. I think that's a time thing. Alright, see you later, Val. Have a good one. Go drink the air. Yeah! Alright, so we gotta go in front of it. Another path right there that's blocked. Okay, I think we can afford an upgrade. This game is really Kaizo. It's got some it's got some Kaizo-y stuff to it. Um key charges plus one, shir shirigans pierce one target. That's pretty good. HP plus one wingsuit attack. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, let's grab that. Being able to attack down is, is like OP. What's up, Chrono? Like that. was that? Did you see how fast I flew out of that water for some reason? What the hell happened there? Oh, it was like a, an attack. Oh, it was a dash. I used a dash in the water and then jumped out. That's what it was. I didn't fall for the bait. There was bait. I like how you can just like backflip up updrafts. Oh, that's not an attack. Elden Ring won best RPG at Game of the Year, whatever. The Messenger is an RPG. Dr. Mario is an RPG. <laughs> I mean, I think the term RPG is just really broad. Are we gonna are we gonna have an R is this an RPG discussion? Barb's crazy. Skyrim is an RPG. Yeah, I think the things that he thinks are RPGs are just like JRPGs. Like he's specifically thinking about one type of RPG. I would call Elden Ring an RPG. But like you need more than just that descriptor because it's so vague.
you're not playing as yourself, it's an RPG. Pretty much. I think that's it's the entire... <laughs> a game where you play a role. Where do you draw the line between RPG-like elements and a true RPG? I, I don't. The only RPG is Dungeons and Dragons. Everything else is a Pac-Man ripoff. You know, I think you could argue that something like Chrono Trigger isn't an RPG. Or Final Fantasy, like the early Final Fantasy games. Because what fucking role are you playing? You don't have a specific role. You just have a party. You're playing multiple roles. You're not playing the role of a party member. You're playing the role of like an omnipotent God that is controlling these characters. So maybe it is a role playing game. I think the biggest defining factor is whether your character has a mutable identity. Yeah, there's a bunch of different types. Yeah, yeah. The term RPG without any qualifiers is like basically every video game ever. You play the messenger, you're the messenger. Yeah, this is an RPG. Everything is cake, everything is RPG. Um, the sealed chainmail chest piece makes you more resistant. There's shuriken's pierce. What was this one? Reduce corbels fine. I don't give a shit about that. Healthy sleeping and eating habits gives you more energy to use in combat. Let's go for the defense. Other boss? I like video games. I don't care what they're classified as. Yeah, me too. You know, I think you might... Oh man, was that trophy for beating this guy without taking damage? I gotta go figure out what that was. No, that wouldn't be this far, right? Abstract arguments that go nowhere are fun. Yeah, I agree. What am I doing? Get out of here. Dude, can I just like go down? No? All right, I fucked this up royally. Yeah. <sighs> Is Wario a libertarian, the greatest threat in the history of forums, locked by a moderator after 12,239 pages of heated debate? That sounds like a drill tweet for sure. I think that if you, when you find a boss, Corbel leaves, right? You get scared and like, oh shit, I'm out of here. Yeah, there he goes. I can sneak under there if I like if I go to the right spot. Man, I just could not get over there. If a philosophy degree spent four years in college on abstracts. Man, if I go like this. Yeah, okay, that's easier.
Damn it. Phase two. Is he just dead? Oh, right. I remember. for me ah oh. that's spaceman spiff ah. like thanks for destroying my golem well you attacked first what are you talking about I've been digging through these caverns for centuries and you just randomly engaged no way way no way you know what fair enough I see you could have thought I was a threat I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. How do I get out of here? I'll adjust the wind for you. Good luck on your quest. All right. Uh, second, I think. Unless I played through it again immediately after the first time. Oh, poor guy. His golem's gone. I know, I'm a, I'm a bastard. Will Shroom Marsh. I want to see now, um, hang on. I'm curious about... What was the, uh, what was the crazy trophy that beat the intro without dying? Oh, did you have to get through the whole 8-bit section? Damn. I don't think so. That would have been too much. I don't think I would have done that. <laughs> Seems like something I would have given up. Dude! <laughs> the timing that they throw these things. There's no mutable identity. You play as the same guy no matter what you do, so it's less liable to be an RPG. Oh, so you're saying there has to be like a character creator kind of thing? You have to have some control over... I don't know. Why am I going back up there? Just wasting time. try to get your brother to play through this once uh but you don't think it really took he, he mentioned that he was playing it um i don't know if he got all the way through it or not okay i have to check well hang on where is there is there like a checkpoint right up here yeah i've been trying to get your brother to play remnant so that we could play co-op but I don't know if he ever booted it up. Okay. God damn it. Thank you, Mario3, for ruining quicksand and video games forever and just making me think that there's always something under them. Was that Mario3? What was it? Now I'm second guessing myself. Mario2! That's it. Thank you. I was like, why does that sound wrong? Is it in Mario 3 as well? Well, it would have been in Mario 2 first. Which, did you guys know it's actually a reskin of a game called Doki Doki Panic? Because the developers of 
Super Mario Bros. 2 thought that it would be too difficult for a Western audience. No way, I know, right? The Doki Doki guy is the same guy as the, uh... Doki Doki guy, and, uh, you know that, uh, Aragorn actually broke his toe when he kicked that helmet. Those, those two are the same guy. Doki Doki Literature. I still have Doki Doki Literature Club. I know, like, nothing about it. Um, I've never played it. I even paid for it. I bought the PlayStation version. What's up, EDTA Killer? Can you not bounce on that? Whoa! Okay. Successfully parried the dagger thrown at him? Oh my god! It's certainly an experience. Is that- would that be good to stream, or is that just like, a play on your own kind of thing? It seems like- I don't- knowing nothing about the game, it seems like the way that people talk about it, it might have some really annoying fans. I should play it, it's an interesting game, no. So don't stream it. Play it, don't stream it. I was facing the wrong direction. How am I already down to one health? Well, not anymore. Undertale levels of annoying fans, okay. I'll check it out. Ah. Uh... I did meet Dan Salvato briefly at uh, the last SGDQ that I went to. Just cool. It's a game that needs you to not expect what's going on and you'd have 20 nerds in chat like, shh, everyone, this is the good part, the twist. Gotcha. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of, uh, kind of thing I expected. Just the way that people, the general tone of voice that people use when they talk about it. You can just kind of tell with some games what that experience is going to be like. Stream it emote only. I've got plenty of other stuff to stream. I don't need to... I don't need to prioritize every game ever. But if I could stream every game ever, I would. That's not actually true. But, you know. Do I play much off stream? Um, my personal gaming time is, is pretty much uh, limited to weekends. Because Wednesday, dude, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, my wife is kind enough to make dinner while I stream. And then Tuesday and Thursday, uh, I make dinner. Or sorry, Monday, Wednesday, she makes dinner. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we kind of, I make dinner, and then we kind of split Fridays and weekends. So basically, I get home from work, and I'm prepping dinner, depending on what we're making, or I get, you know, 10 minutes to play something, or we have to go, I thought that I was going to get to play something when I got home from work, and then we, you know, I, I drive home through traffic, I'm annoyed, and I'm like, okay, I get to go home and sit down, and, and... Maybe I'll play a little Remnant. Maybe I'll do a Hades run. I don't know. Just sit down and, and not think about stuff. 
But then we had an appointment at a flooring showroom where we had to go look at floor samples for... And I was like, okay, all right, we'll do that today, I guess. As the streamer you watched was doing a horror game. Oh, dude. And stuck on a puzzle where the solution was to break a window with a chair. So some dude was spamming that guy. What a dick. Do I find it changes my enjoyment of games at all? Streaming? Um, definitely. I mean, not like... Streaming a game is going to change how you have fun with it, for sure. And there are some games that are great stream games, and there are some games that are not great stream games. Some are only fun by yourself. Some are only fun on stream. Some are fun both ways. But yeah. Kind of just want to be gaming to be your thing for... Yeah, yeah, I totally understand that. I keep... I keep getting, like, the flick of the analog stick is turning me around. Like, I let go, and then it... It's to the right a little bit. When you're streaming, you have, like, 60% of your brain power on the game and, like, 40%. Yeah, it definitely changes what you're thinking about and the things that you'll notice in the game as well. <laughs> Especially if you're me. Like my, I don't think my wife understands um, me ending stream on a Friday and like, oh, and then immediately booting up a game for myself, you know? And that's hard. That's a little hard to explain why that's different. <laughs> like one is free time. The other is not. Uh, sure. I should, I should actually use those. I never do. This boss. Well, 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 it seems we have an intruder. You need to get out of here. This place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my quill shroom scare you? So it's true. Ha ha ha. Don't like my army. It's a shame, really, since you're about to join it. Wait, that scroll. It couldn't be. No, impossible. Does my wife play games at all? Not really. Occasionally she'll be in the mood for something and we'll play something together. One that she really enjoyed and the only, I think the only one that she actively was like, oh, can we play more of that? Was uh, Rayman Legends. Rayman Legends is a fantastic co-op game, especially if you have a spouse that doesn't typically care for video games. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. Kneel before your queen and receive the curse of quills. Oh, okay, that turns me into a mushroom. Dude, how are you supposed to... playing Gauntlet for N64. Oh, I can't jump up there. Interesting. Wow, he is really, uh, seems en engrossed by the, uh, game a little bit today. Oh! So you need to like not 
get hit by these. What do you think, Miso? What do you think of the messenger? Now, wait a second. Who do you think you are? I'm Quilble. <laughs> Quilble, that na this name makes no sense. Why have I never seen you before? I was exiled a long time ago when I got cursed along with my messenger. That voice, are you out of here? You bet. See ya, sucker. All right. You give me that look for. Searing crags. Is there gonna be a checkpoint right here? Saving. Okay, so save. Okay, saved. I think that's a good place to call it. I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna get to work. Uh, we will continue this tomorrow, and this afternoon we will continue beautiful, dangerous uh, ratios hack. Thank you guys for hanging out this morning. As always, always a pleasure.